accessible. It's quiet. If you love the nature, it's a great place to be. Look at the view that you get from this house. Already smells like a new home smell. Oh man, the smell, the fresh tatami. Ah, oh, I love the smell. I like the color. Yeah, you can have coffee here, even barbecue. The air smells nice too. Let's go. What is going on, Akia Hunters? Welcome to another episode of Akia Vlog, where I talk about Akia in Japan. Everything from purchasing Akia to renovating Akia. And today I have a very special episode for you. Usually I walk through distressed Akia to see what the purchase process is gonna look like and what the renovation cost is gonna be and all that stuff. But today I'm gonna show you a finished product. And today I am in Sakamihara in Kanagawa Prefecture. I've been here before in this city. I drove for about an hour from Yokohama. I think it's one of the biggest cities in Kanagawa. About an hour from Yokohama, probably hour and a half maybe from Tokyo. It's accessible, it's quiet. You know, if you love the nature, it's a great place to be. I mean, look at the surrounding. Look at the view that you get from this house. Uh, mountains are around and also there are lakes here too. So if you like the nature and don't mind being a little bit far away from, you know, big cities like Tokyo and Yokohama, this place might work just for you. So this is not my property. This is a property one of my clients purchased a couple months ago. The renovation just got finished recently and he gave me the keys to the property so I can take a look. Super excited to show you the inside, what the final product of the renovation looks like. But before I get into that, let me show you the walkthrough of the before, what it looked like when he purchased it. So this is the footage of the walkthrough before the purchase of the property. It was already a decent looking house but the flooring and the walls screamed an 80s house in Japan. This house was built in 1984 and the previous owner kept the inside pretty clean for a 40 year old house. But the flooring, tatami mats and the walls definitely needed to be changed for a fresh look. The second floor also had this feeling of an outdated house. It didn't need a complete makeover because it's easy to spend a lot of money on renovation. So the new owner decided to spend just enough to give his new home a fresh look on the inside. I'll go over the numbers in detail later, so be sure to stick around until the end. So that was before what this Akia looked like before he purchased this property. And now I'm gonna get inside and show you what it looks like now. Cool? You ready? Let's go. Already smells like the new new home. The yeah, new home smell. Uh, look at this, the flooring is nice and new. The walls are new. And to my left, the bathroom. Okay. They kept the same bathtub, but it looks pretty nice. It looks, it just looks like a new home. I mean, uh, it smells like a new home. All right. So the first room I'm gonna show you is the kitchen. Okay, nice. And this is the living and dining room. Very nice like the ceiling fan. All right, so I'm guessing this is the tatami room. Let's take a look. Wow. Oh man, the smell of tatami, the fresh tatami. Ah, oh, I love the smell. Ooh, nice. I like the color, like a green tea color. And you get the access to the patio from here. Awesome. Yeah, you can have coffee here, even barbecue during the summertime. So Sagamihara, since it's up a little north of where I am usually, and in the mountains, the temperature is definitely lower than what it was uh, when I left Yokohama. I'm guessing it gets much colder here in the winter time. But summertime is probably nice because it's also cooler. Let me check this out. This is probably the toilet. Nice. Okay, nice and new. Okay, let's go to the second floor. Here's the second floor. Okay, let's take a look at this room. Nice, first bedroom connected to the second bedroom divided by these sliding doors. Nice. And this is probably the toilet. So this house has two toilets, one on each floor, which is nice. You don't have to go downstairs if you're sleeping up here. Wow, this is another tatami room. Oh, I could be here all day. Just smell this fresh tatami. Very nice. And again, you get this view of the nature of Sagamihara. Look at that. 
very quiet. The air smells nice too. So what do you all think about this property? It's pretty nice, right? So, and you must be wondering how much my client paid for this, you know, to purchase this property and also for the renovation. And I got his permission to share these numbers for you. Okay, so this property, I think he paid 3.7 million to close. So, you know, to purchase with the broker fee, with the judicial scrivener fee, the property taxes and all that stuff. So 3.7. So let me, let me do the calculations. Less than 25,000. So $24,600 in USD. That's how much he paid to acquire it. And he hired a renovation company to do the work. I mean, they've done a really good job for the cost that he paid. And how much he paid for the renovation company all inclusive was 1.8 million yen, which is about 12 grand to do the renovation for labor and you know getting everything to, to fix it up. This is very livable. You know, I was telling him I would live here and he's gonna use this as his residence and also his work whenever he's in Japan. So he's not based out of here, he's American, so he spends most of his time there, but he's gonna be spending more time in Japan now that he has this uh, new residence and this office that he's gonna operate out of. He actually formed an entity in Japan as well. So he hopes to continue buying more Akia and turning them into rentals. In fact, he's in the process as we speak of, of purchasing another property around here. And he's getting that as a rental property and yeah, renting it out. I think he's gonna close pretty soon in the next few weeks or so. So yeah, he's already building, he's bought two properties in the past couple months, a few months, and yeah, I think he wants to buy more around this area. So the reason why he wants to purchase more properties here is because one, I mean, they're pretty cheap. <laughs> These are pretty cheap houses. You know, if you spend 25, you know, 30 grand, this property was 5.5 million all in, right? So 5.5 is 36.7 thousand dollars all inclusive, you know, with the renovation to get something like this. How many more can you have? Right? Yeah, I think he likes that, the price point here. And also, it's pretty close to Hashimoto Station, which is gonna be one of the stations for the, the new bullet train that's coming out in 2027. That's the one that goes from Tokyo to Nagoya in, I don't know, 30 minutes or something. And eventually from Tokyo to Osaka within an hour or something like that. But yeah, the super magnetic uh, bullet train, that's gonna be the fastest train ever. Yeah, I mean, 2027 is just around the corner, only three years away. So, you know, if you wanna get to Tokyo, you can. It's, it's gonna be much faster to, to get to Tokyo after that. And right here, it's about 30 minutes from Hashimoto Station. So it's not too far. And Sagamihara is a, it's a nice little city, nice little town. You know, I saw a few restaurants, convenience stores, grocery stores on the way here. You know, if you're thinking about city life, like, you know, Yokohama or Tokyo, obviously you're not gonna get that, but you get this quiet, you know, a lot of nature, you know, waking up to looking at this mountain, you know, sounds of birds. You know, if you're into that kind of stuff, I think this is great. And as a rental market as well, you know, definitely you can find renters. It's gonna be a lot lower in terms of the, the rent that you can charge compared to people who want to live in places like Yokohama or Tokyo. But with the price that you're getting, I think the returns will be pretty solid as well, even if you turn this as a rental. Yeah, that's that. It's pretty cool. You know, I got to be part of the whole process. I'm really happy for my client who's gonna be living here, who's gonna be using this space as his office and help him grow his portfolio, you know, in this area to start with and maybe greater Sagamihara area. Who knows, right? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Akia Vlog. If you did, leave a comment and let me know what you liked and also what you wanna see more of in the future. I'm gonna be coming out with more renovation projects in the future, but this is one of the first ones where I talk about, you know, before and after of Akia renovation. And if you're serious about buying an Akia for, you know, your use, personal use, or as a rental property, we have a service for you. You can apply for Akia income generator if you want to purchase Akia as a rental property, or if you want to use it as a personal use, you can apply for Japan Akia Assist. Links are below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to check out this one next for more. And I will see you in the next one.